So, Father Luis, we are very glad that uh, you say that you studied in Christ Nagar Varanasi. The IMS formation and the situation of Varanasi, how much it has influenced you in your life? First of all, let me start by saying uh, I was in the novitiate in Goa and uh, Father Pays, Kamaturgo Pays, who was a uh, sort of a student uh, prefect for the seminarians of the Society of Pilar, who was studying that time in Varanasi. After his term, he was our novice master. And during that period of our novitiate, there were students who were already studying there. They was coming. They were coming to the novitiate to teach uh, bhajans, Hindi bhajans. And I was uh, so much uh, fascinated and also uh, pulled towards that type of uh, uh, spirituality, that type of culture. And I was, uh, in my mind, I was waiting to go in that sense, desiring that I should also go there, be sent there. And one evening, one evening after dinner, as it was, uh, we were coming to an end of our novitiate uh, period and uh, we were supposed to be told where we are going for our philosophy and college. And that evening, the novice master called me and told me that you are one of the three who would be going to Varanasi. And upon hearing that, I was so much excited that for, for some hours, I didn't, uh, I didn't sleep. I was filled with joy that I was chosen to go to Varanasi and maybe uh, we sleep usually at 9, 10. I was uh, awake probably with joy even after midnight. I was so excited to go there. So, after reaching Varanasi, what happened during the three years there? Yeah. So, after reaching Varanasi, I really, as we approached uh, Allahabad, then enter, the train enters Varanasi, there's a certain sense of uh, uh, feeling of uh, holiness and then, then being part of the seminary, the formation there which called for learning Hindi. Uh, Hindi was another story. We had 10th standard Hindi here in Goa and you are jumping to college level Hindi which is uh, Khadi Boli and all those ancient Hindi for first year. But it was a challenge and I think it was a lot of struggle but now I feel like uh, I have good Hindi, I have, can read, I can also speak good uh, quality Hindi and that was one big influence. Other thing was the Indian music, Indian music, Hindustani classical, I spoke uh, this, uh, I really loved and I still remember those, uh, those uh, Chota Khyal Bandish, the songs which I had learned that time in 96-97. Chandani Raat Bairan Lage Aay Nakana Rain Gawaye So still fresh in my memory which I learned that time. And uh, other thing was the going to the village, the student missionary league. That was also a great influence of how to relate to people in the rural areas. Going to you know, every Thursday, every uh, Sunday to the villages. And it was a you know, lot of learning. I, in the first year, I was part of that Nukkad Natak uh, group. And that is also the first time I acted and I had to play a role, I think, of the Roga. And uh, it was in Hindi. So I really memorized the whole dialogues and I think that was something also wonderful. And overall it was a, a lot of a great influence, one of the great influence uh, that I had on my life. So in your present ministry, what is the influence of uh, your formation in Varanasi, the culture of Varanasi? Yeah, I would say the entire thing you know, that I am doing uh, has a now the influence is from Varanasi because the cultural formation, you know, the philosophy, Indian philosophy, uh, the language. So all this influenced me in my present ministry. I am uh, 
I was asked by superior to organize interfaith activities. So I called it Sadhav. I, I thought of calling this interfaith forum as Sadhav. No, goodwill, which means goodwill. Some dictionary says harmony. So I thought of, uh, and it was like the objective was to foster inter interreligious uh, dialogue, uh, harmony, solidarity, and fellowship. That's the uh, that's the main objective. And we have been doing many uh, what you call activities under this forum. At least uh, six, seven activities. One of them is called Yuva Sadhav, which is for the youth. Ultimately, the goal is say bringing uh, youth from different faith together and uh, talking about you know, how to foster harmony, peace, uh, solidarity among the youth. And then there is Christmas Sadhav. On Christmas, we bring you know, invite people from other faith. Then this is Sadhav Sammelan, for which I have called Sadhanan, that is true to perform. It was an uh, interfaith uh, conference of uh, academics, art, and culture. So it was a mix of everything. This so a two-day conference wherein you all came and you all performed. So uh, that is the first time that we thought of organizing this conference called Sadhav Sammelan. And then there is something called Sadhav Sadhana that we want to start with the professional, like teachers, calling them together, having overnight. And a stay and doing you know, uh, the objective though is one of the one and the same of fostering interfaith dialogue, really uh, harmony, fellowship, and then we have something called seeds of sadbhav that is like a basic foundational uh, program that we thought of having that is for the 12th standard student like the that is the initial uh, program that we wanted to have for the student seeds of sadbhav, and then there is sadbhav mahotsav. Another thing, Sadhva Mohsa, the festival, it's a harvest festival for the villages, seven villages that are around Pila to you know, bring farmers and other, uh, other villages from different communities together and uh, you know, spend time together you know, as uh, one family. So the whole thing like I put to them often is Vasudheva Kutumbakam, the entire world is one family. Yeah, fine, fantastic. Just to want to inform our viewers that Father Elvis Fernandez of the Pilar Society, SFX, uh, spent his uh, philosophy uh, days from 1994 to 1997 in Varanasi. And uh, later, after his ordination, he also did his doctorate in uh, clinical psychology from Philippines. And now he is full fledged into this ministry of sadbhav, harmony, peace, uh, interfaith, uh, collaboration and doing wonderfully well. And always I heard him repeatedly saying that he is grateful to uh, the IMS and Vishajyoti Gurukul and the atmosphere in Varanasi and very especially to uh, SML of Krishnagar. So we appreciate Father for keeping up that spirit and you are doing wonderfully well and uh, all the best to do what you do. We are happy that we collaborated with you and we look forward, forward for more days of collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Father.